On Halloween 1959, the Dirigi family welcomed a son at North Shore Medical Center, Miami, who they named Landon Lee Dirigi. He was one month premature and, due to other underlying factors, suffered from multiple medical problems growing up. In July 1973, 13-year-old Landon lived in Miami Shores, Florida, in a 1950s-era residence on the 400 block of Northwest 112th Terrace, across the road from an old dog racing track. He was diagnosed as being a hyperactive child with a short temper and he had learning disabilities. However, Landon reportedly possessed an IQ of 160. He loved to swim in the family's pool and often spent his free time at the Barry Athletic Field. Shortly after Landon's 13th birthday, his behaviour suddenly changed. Life at school had become difficult, with several other children bullying him, and as a result, the young teenager began running away from home, usually being absent for short periods of time. There was an incident where he skipped school and was found by his mother in the athletic field alone, and on another occasion when he ran away, he was traced in Fort Lauderdale, over 20 miles or 30 kilometres away. On the 27th of July 1973, the family awoke for breakfast, having spent the previous day travelling home from a camping trip where they had been roasting hot dogs, hiking paths and fishing in the Everglades swamp area, arriving back in Miami shores at approximately 10pm. The plan for that day was for the Dirigi family to travel to Disney World. Landon had woken his mother early, requesting permission to go out to Barry Athletic Field to play, to which his mother agreed. Hours ticked by and there was no sign of Landon. His mother was cautious to call authorities straight away as she was well aware of his running away spells and trusted that he would return home. However, he never did. After two days of silence, the local police were contacted. Authorities did a thorough search of the area and recovered some of Landon's belongings from a hedge in a neighbour's garden. Unfortunately, there is no specific information about what belongings were found. Friends of Landon's who lived in the neighbourhood were questioned, but ultimately police found no answers. It was speculated that Landon had arranged to meet someone, however, there has so far been no evidence to back up this claim. In a bittersweet turn of events, Linda De Ricci found out that she was pregnant with daughter Angel shortly after her son disappeared. Landon De Ricci was 13 years old when he vanished and is classed as an endangered missing person. When he disappeared, he stood at 4 feet 7 inches tall and weighed 68 pounds, around 31 kilograms. Landon, who also goes by the nickname Lanny, is Caucasian, has blue eyes and blonde hair, and also has freckles and is of a small build. He has a deviated septum, which gives his nose a slanted appearance, and Landon is legally blind. However, according to the Dirigi family, he strongly refused to wear glasses, despite his severe vision impairment. Landon never contacted his family, who ended up moving to the state of Georgia in 1977. They left behind a letter for their missing son, taping it to an electronic panel in a fuse box, stating, We have moved to Georgia. God forgives everything. I forgive everything. We love you. Along with their new contact details, should he wish to contact them. It is unknown whether the letter remains there or not. Over the years, police received numerous tips, following up on every single one. 
An unidentified corpse that was found in San Mateo County in 1995 was briefly thought to have been Landon. However, it was confirmed that the deceased had a cleft palate, something which De Ricci did not have. In 2002, authorities followed a lead to Connecticut, where a teacher was allegedly the missing boy, but testing showed that he was not Landon. In 2004, Linda DeRigi was called by Miami Shores detectives who asked her to submit a DNA sample as they were working on a case regarding an unidentified teenager who was found dead in the woods in St. Helena Parish, Louisiana. The deceased had lost their life due to asphyxiation and had been found tied up with rope. The description of the teenager matched Landon DeRigi. Linda could not submit a DNA sample at the time due to ongoing chemotherapy, however she expressed her wishes in a Miami Herald article to give authorities a sample as soon as her health improves. In 2008, the body found in Louisiana was successfully identified as a drifter from California. Investigators on the case believe that Landon DeRigi is no longer alive. However, there is no evidence to strongly point in either direction. DNA technology has greatly developed in recent years and with a sample from Landon's mother, anything is possible. Did he run away? Was he abducted? Did the bullies who taunted a vulnerable Landon have something to do with his disappearance? Was he the victim of an accident or something else? Sadly, what happened to Landon DeRigi remains a mystery.